Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today I'm excited to show you one of my favorite add-ons here, and that is CodeGuard. CodeGuard is an application that takes daily automated backups of your website and database. Just in case something happens to your site, you can easily restore with just a few simple clicks. As always, if you like the content that we're making, please feel free to give it a like on YouTube and subscribe if you want to see more. But if you're ready to go, let's get started. We'll kick things off today in our customer portal. As you can see here, I've got a shared business plan with realgatorsightings.com as my primary domain. Now, I already have CodeGuard on this account. You can scroll down here and see that the CodeGuard section shows as manage. If I didn't have CodeGuard already purchased, it would give me the option to learn more about it and purchase it if I want to. Before we dive into the fun stuff of what CodeGuard actually does, let me show you a few of the options that you have if you want to purchase CodeGuard. We've got a really great knowledge base article that goes into detail of what CodeGuard actually is and what different versions we offer. I'll link this in the description below, but we'll go over this right now. At the top of the article, it's going to give you some information on what CodeGuard actually does. And there's two features that I want to focus on today. The first one is monitoring, which means CodeGuard is actively looking at your website each day and sends you an alert if anything changes. The second one is my favorite and probably the most important. It gives you the option to restore any previous version on your website with a few simple clicks. This means that once you have CodeGuard set up, you can actually scroll back through previous dates, click a button to restore the site to exactly as it was on that date. This is really important if you're making a lot of changes to your website, if you're building a new one, or you just want to have the safety and comfort of knowing you can roll back to any previous date. If we scroll down just a little bit further, we can see some of the options that CodeGuard gives us. Now there's four different versions of CodeGuard and it really is dependent upon how many sites you need to back up and how much storage space you need. Now it's important to note that CodeGuard does offer compression in terms of its backups. So if your site is a gig or a little bit more than a gig, then you'll likely be able to fit inside of the one gigabyte storage space. From here, all you need to do is determine exactly how many sites you want to back up and how much storage space you need. For me, today I'm going to use the basic, which is one gig, up to five sites, with unlimited databases and unlimited numbers of files. Just know you can always upgrade if you need more space. The cool thing about CodeGuard is that each one of these plans offers some form of storage space, at least five sites, the unlimited number of files and databases that you can add, and daily automated backups. As we discussed earlier, it offers daily site change monitoring for each plan as well, but if you want to have on-demand backups or priority queuing for your restores, you can choose professional or above. Now that we know a little bit about what CodeGuard offers, let's head back to our customer portal and I'll show you how to use it. As we can see here in my customer portal, I've got a single hosting package. This is a shared business plan with realgatorsightings.com as the primary domain. Now, I already have CodeGuard on this account, but if I needed to purchase it, you can easily do that here in your customer portal. You can scroll down to the recommended apps, and if you didn't have it purchased already, you would see the learn more option here. You can also go to the marketplace on the left-hand side, and from there, you can see that the number one recommended option is CodeGuard, and you'll see why in just a few seconds. Now that I've located it, I'm gonna go ahead and click manage. And this is gonna take me to the first section of CodeGuard Secure Backup Site. As you can see here, it shows me how many websites I have used three of five and my current total usage. Now, since this is just the splash page, we're gonna go over here to the right-hand side and click Log into CodeGuard. This is gonna take us to CodeGuard's backend. Welcome to CodeGuard's backend. This is the main dashboard where you'll be able to manage every aspect of your CodeGuard. The first thing that you'll note is we have a weekly backup summary over the last seven days. As you can see here, I've got a total of three websites with 100% website backup success. I also have seven databases, also 100%. So it looks like I'm pretty good overall. If we scroll down just a little further, we can actually start to see the content that's being backed up by CodeGuard. Currently, I have three domains, CG test domain, realgator sightings, and a subdomain, training.realgatorsightings.com. In the middle section, you can actually see when the last backup was taken, the size of that backup, and the status. Each one of these has about nine hours until the next website backup happens, and there's some actions over here on the side that I'll talk about as well. Before we go into those actions, I wanna show you the coolest part about CodeGuard. I'm gonna click on my realgatorsightings.com, and this is where I can start to see all of the restore options that I have available. As you can see, I've got March 28th all the way through April 2nd as backups, but let's click view all. Now that I'm on this page, I can see all the backup options that I have, and there are a lot of them. What you'll notice is that CodeGuard is actually flagging how many different files were added, changed, or deleted, and it gives you the option to view the details or restore if you'd like as well. These compressed backups are really helpful if you're making a ton of changes to your site over days, weeks, or months. I haven't made many changes to the site, so you can see that I only have a few restore options available, but that was exactly when files were either changed, modified, or deleted. Now, let's say something bad happened to my site and I want to roll all the way back to March 8th. I can view the details of this backup here, or I can click View Restore Options. And this is how easy CodeGuard is and one of the reasons why I love it. If I wanted to roll back to this date, I can do that easily and I've got a few options to do so. If I want to do an automatic restore, I could select this option here. It's going to automatically restore all the content from this backup. I could also download a zip file of that if I wanted to, or if I just want to restore specific files or folders, I can do that here as well. 
Now, if I wanted to select any of these options, CodeGuard is going to walk me through this process and make it really simple for me. So if I wanted to restore back to this date, I can easily select one of these options and go for it, or I can come up here and select a different restore date if I want to go back a little further or a little forward in time. Now that we have an idea of how restores work, let's go back to the main CodeGuard dashboard and I'll show you a few more things. Let's scroll up here, just click on the CodeGuard logo. Now that I'm back to my main dashboard, I want to show you our inbox. This is where important messages will pop up from CodeGuard. So if there's been changes to your site, anything that's happened, it's going to tell you directly here. You can also choose to get emails about this as well. So if you check out some of my recent notifications, you can see that I've got monitoring completed, no changes found on my realgatorsightings.com. It also did the exact same thing for training.realgatorsightings.com as well. Now, if you look down here, you can actually see a few things. I've got a new database that's assigned and activated. I actually added a new site to my cPanel earlier, and I want to show you how cool CodeGuard is about recognizing new content. I'm going to head back to the main dashboard. Scroll down just a little bit further. Now, Real Gator Signings, I've had that on my cPanel for quite some time, but I added CG Test Domain about four hours ago to my cPanel, and you can already tell just by adding it as an add-on domain, CodeGuard's already starting to back up that content. This is really helpful because you don't have to go in and manually tell CodeGuard exactly what you want to back up. If you add a new add-on domain or a new subdomain, it's automatically going to activate the backups for that. Now, of course, you do need to stay within the confines of the plan that you have. So since I have the basic plan, I've got one gig and five websites. Since I have three websites here and less than a gig, I'm all good. CodeGuard would tell me if there's an error about that. Now that we know a little bit about what CodeGuard's going to back up, let's take a look at some of the actions we have on the right-hand side. For cgtestdomain.com, I'm going to click Actions. The first one I want to show you is Edit. This page will allow you to change common website settings specifically for CodeGuard on this site. Let's scroll down just a little bit here, and as we can see, the first one I think is the most important one. We can set the backup frequency for this website. By default, it's going to be set to daily, but you can also choose weekly, monthly, or never if you don't want this to be backed up. If we scroll down a little bit further, we can see we've got two settings for email notifications and filtering of those notifications. You can tell CodeGuard exactly what you wanted to send you. Let's scroll down just a little bit further, and we can see CodeGuard's offering us to automatically update our plugins for us. Since this is something that we can set WordPress to do, I'm going to leave that off for now, as it is noted as an experimental feature. If you want to specifically manage the backup content, you can do so here, choosing or removing files and folders. And if you want to completely delete these backups, you can do that here as well, or delete the entire website from CodeGuard. I would definitely preface this by saying if you choose this option, make sure you have some backups downloaded on your local workstation. Let's head back to our main dashboard and I'll show you a few other options. Now that we're back on the main site, I'm going to scroll back down to my cgtestdomain.com. We've got the option to add a new database here, completely delete the site, restore, or we can view any issues with these backups. CodeGuard is pretty good about telling you when things go wrong. You can actually see it's got some status notifications down here below. I always recommend logging into CodeGuard at least once a week just to check and make sure everything's being backed up as it should be. You can easily check all the issues down here as well. As you can see, I've got no issues, so I'm good to go. I'm going to head back to the main page. Now that we've talked a little bit about the websites, let's scroll down and see what else CodeGuard is doing. As you can see, we've got a full list of databases here, and CodeGuard's telling us that these are not associated with a website. It's actually going to take the time to back these up for us, just in case we need them. Now, we have very similar status options here. We can see when the last backup was, the size of the database, its status. We also have some options and settings, and we have the option to delete it if we want to as well. Let's check on settings and see what happens when we click Edit. As you can see here, we have direct information for the MySQL database. So we have the hostname or IP, the MySQL username, the password listed here, and we also have options to select daily, weekly, or monthly backups. Down here at the bottom, you can actually assign it to a certain site if you have a secondary database, or you can just leave it as unassigned. Generally, if you have a WordPress, Joomla, or Magento site, CodeGuard is automatically going to read that CMS and back up that information for you along with your database. But if you have some extra ones, they can also back that up too. Now that we've touched on databases, let's head back to our main page. We'll scroll back down to the bottom to check out some more information on the databases here. Let's click on the action section. As you can see, we've got very similar options to the ones listed above in the website. We have the option to edit the information we just showed. We can delete this database. We can ask to restore this database, or we can view any issues with it. Just like the websites above, you're going to have information here listed for CodeGuard. It's going to give you yellow if it encountered an issue, or it's going to show red if that backup completely failed. One of the last things I want to show you is the account profile settings. So let's scroll up to the top. Let's click on settings and account. As you can see here, we've got our personal information listed. I've got my full name, my email address, a phone number if I want to use it as well. You can also change the plan information and billing settings. And here's a really important one as well. You can change the backup retention settings. So for me, I have it set to every 90 days you can remove old backups. You can also set it to never remove old backups, but those actually might start to stack up and you could get over your quota. If we scroll down a little bit further, you can see we've got the monthly newsletter option. If you want to receive that in your email, that's fine. 
It'll also ask you if you want to be notified when changes are made to your sites. I've got these set as no because I don't necessarily need to know exactly when changes were done. But if you want to have that information sent to your email, you can do that here. Now that we've covered that, let's head back to the main page. I'll scroll up here, click the Code Guard logo. You may have noticed down here that there's an add FTP slash SFTP website. This is a really helpful option if you have a website that's stored in a very specific folder that may not be added as an add-on domain or a subdomain. So if you want to add a site manually, you can click here, give it all the information that it needs, and it'll start backing up that content for you. As we noted earlier, any add-on domain or subdomain that you add to your cPanel is automatically going to be backed up by CodeGuard. That being said, I always recommend checking into your CodeGuard backend at least once a week just to make sure that there's no errors, issues, and that everything is backing up exactly as you expect it to. And that about wraps it up for CodeGuard. I really hope you found this video helpful. This is by far one of my favorite applications for backing up my website. As always, if you like the content that we're making, please feel free to subscribe, give it a like on YouTube, and let us know in the comments below if you want to see more. Thanks, y'all.